The session will be discussing about animal-like protista members. Those are into the group called protozoa. Now, when you talk about protozoa, there are basically different type of pro protozoa members we'll be talking about. One are sarcodines, you have ciliates, you have zooflagellates, and you have sporozoas. The name are given according to the mode of locomotion they have. Sarcodines, if you see, they move by pseudopodia. Ciliates, they move with the help of cilia, and zooflagellates with the, will be moving with the help of what you call flagella. They don't have any mode of locomotion, so they will be moving with the help of some host. Now, sarcodines belong to the phylum called sarcodina, ciliates belong to ciliophora, zooflagellates, they belong to the phylum called geomastigena, and they belong to the phylum called sporozoa. Now, I've already told you about the mode of locomotion. The life cycles are there, but the time you will be talking some concepts in zoology. You should know about their examples. Some of the what you call sarcodines are amoeba, you must be knowing about. One particular name you should know about is amoeba histolytica. So, amoeba histolytica is the major cause of protestian dysentery. You also have radiolaria, you have niglaria. Apart from that, in, when you talk about ciliates, one important name which you must have heard about is paramecium. When you talk about zooflagellates, one important name comes as Strypnosoma and Leishmania. Here you have the malaria infecting what you call protista member which is called Plasmodium. And Plasmodium, it's belonging to the Sporozoa. Next session will be starting with Kingdom Fungi.